Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Hasma and you are watching Preston Every Design. If you have been following along, we are on the Garage Cleanout series and now this is part four. Now if you remember in part three, this is what the garage looked like. I got two big pieces out and today I'm working on getting these chairs out. Uh, these chairs have been here for quite some time. I purchased them about eight months ago. And so I think today is a good day to pull those. And if you see right there, there's a rocking chair that is a custom order. So I'm going to pull that out today as well and paint it and have it ready to be picked up next week. I have pulled these chairs out already look I can see a little more room slowly but surely we're getting there guys you guys hang in there with me this is definitely a process but I have this out I've turned them over I'm gonna take those cushions out I'm gonna take them to the backyard and I'm just gonna use my paint sprayer knock this out in about 30 to 45 minutes and this will be done uh, I'll probably let this cure for probably a few days before I take them to the shop so I'll probably take them next uh, Tuesday once my chairs were dry, this is the next day. I'm using my Orbiter sander and I have 240 grit sanding paper. Again, I have my respirator mask on. I know you guys asked about it in the last video. I'm going to link it in the description. It is from Amazon and you do have to buy the mask and the filters separately. So make sure that you order filters. It does not come with filters. Anyway, so I am sending these so that I can get them nice and distressed. And then I'm going to upholster the cushions in a beautiful floral green fabric. Because you guys know me, I like my greens. And so uh, this will be done. And then we're going to go ahead and take them over to the shop. This is what they look like after they've been distressed and they've been sealed. I used Big Top in my paint sprayer to seal these up. And they sealed up really nicely and they cured really well as well. Okay, I came by the shop um, to bring in these chairs that I worked on and I noticed that we have a sold bookshelf here. So now tell me what happened. Come on girl, tell me what happened. Make my day. Tell me what happened. They were fighting over your bookcase. Oh my goodness. Praise the Lord. Yep. <laughs> shelf. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just do some kind of reconfiguring, rearranging over on this section. I don't have much to put there and it's going to look like a hot mess today, but that's okay. It's just temporarily. And then I will bring in some things later on in the week uh, because today I only brought those chairs. Uh, but since I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and kind of reconfigure the space to make it look a little more presentable. Okay, this is the best I could do because I didn't know that that shelf had sold before I got here. So I don't really have a piece that I think goes really well in that space. However, I have a perfect piece at home. So over the weekend, I'm going to be preparing to get that ready and we're going to work on this section. Also, I need a piece that can uh, take multiple layers of items because everything that was on the bookshelf has now been relocated to right here. Normally, that's what they do when they need to clear a surface. They just put it on the next surface. So all of the dishes that were on that bookcase are now here on these end tables. And I don't like them being this full because if they do sell, then they've got to relocate all that stuff. And also, you just can't really appreciate them with them being this full. However, for now, I'm going to leave it. And then next week, I will bring in a hutch to go in that space right there. Okay, so I couldn't leave with all those dishes down here. It was really bothering me. I did come up with a very quick solution. I just placed them on the shelf right here. Now, this is a temporary fix, but it's much better than having them all stacked here on these end tables. And I'm okay with them staying like this until next week. And of course, now we have a lot more items on this dresser because a lot of them were coming from that green shelf. So those items also need to be considered when uh, getting the new hutch so that they can be relocated. And then you can really see and appreciate the beauty of this dresser. 
Now I'm going to go ahead and put my chairs in. This is not going to take too long. I'm just moving things a little bit around, but I do want these chairs to be staged next to this table and hopefully they can be bought together. Now I priced the chairs at $79.95 per chair and on that table I have $249.95. So here's the space now. I uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I will see you next week um, when I show you how the garage cleanup is going. I actually will be showing you some of the stuff that I've been creating that is not in the shop because it's going to the market. So thanks for watching. If you have not subscribed, I really would appreciate it if you did join our YouTube family. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, friends.